theater group starring children with various special needs is facing its final act. Some of the kids were kicked out of other programs, and now one that specializes in helping them is devastated by an alleged case of fraud. Eight on your side, investigator Walt Buteau joins us live in studio. Josh and Stacy, the touch of drama premiere premiered just over a year ago and has grown into a cast of about 100 children. This weekend brings their latest performance, but it also might be their last. A touch of drama's young actors are rehearsing a lighthearted musical. But their director, the founder of this Davenport troupe that teaches children with special needs, is facing what she considers a tragedy. And I did have to let parents and kids know that this is possibly their last show. Uh, and we had a lot of breakdowns, a lot of meltdowns. Records show $6,000 was withdrawn from her account with online-based bank Bluevine, but here. Polino insists she did no, not yeah, take yeah, out yeah, the yeah, money. No. It took every penny we had. We are left with zero dollars. We have nothing. But these kids don't have anywhere else to go. A lot of these programs have asked them to leave. We reached out to Bluevine. The business owner says she was never in New York where the alleged fraud happened. Bank spokesperson Kelsey Miller told us in an email, that said, our team has investigated the situation thoroughly and found no indication of fraudulent activity. What's your response? How? Why? How is this possible? The purchases were made in a different state. Um, it clearly could not have been me. And when the purchases were made, I was actually teaching a class. Bluevine spokesperson tells us their accounts are secure, with Miller saying, we take account security very seriously and we routinely communicate with all of our customers about what it means to maintain a secure account. But as Polino prepares for what may be a touch of drama's final curtain call, she claims her account was not secure enough. This is our mirror mirror on the wall. <laughs> Now she hopes somehow there will be a happy ending for her theater and its young performers. We've given them a place where they not only belong, but they flourish. They really do. They're amazing. I'm praying for a miracle. I'm praying someone steps forward and says, can we help sponsor you? But again, she says without a help or a touch of drama will go dark after this weekend. So, Walt, I mean, what she's doing is amazing yeah. work. I mean, that's not an easy job, and she's doing it for all the right reasons, it seems. So what does it cost to put on one of these performances in case there's somebody out there who does want to help? So about $2,000, so it's not big money. Of course, Polino doesn't get paid in that, but she says about $2,000 would cover it. And as she told us, she is hoping that either the bank takes another look at her case or... Like she said, she needs a miracle. Maybe somebody can step up and help her. And think the kids, how much they must love that. To and take that away would be It started because she had a kid with special needs. Yeah. And then she did not plan it for, to be a theater troupe with just kids with special needs. But there was apparently a need. Absolutely. And parents came forward with their well, kids. It evolved into up. that. That's Absolutely. Great. All right, yeah. thanks so much. If you have something you want Walt to investigate, call our 8 on your side helpline. It's 1-800-338-0808.